Hot Show with Ant Squad. It's your boy Ant back with you guys with another video. So we're going to check out when the Avengers defended Earth from Thanos' goons by Blank Boy. Hey man, in the Avengers Infinity War, when they came came out, cause the way how they, the MCU they were teasing uh, Thanos, cause how he, he was being some type of villain, even though he wasn't a villain because he was after his plan. And for the first start of the beginning of the movie. For the first 10 minutes, he packs up the hope. And the fact of the matter is, like, we all knew that we were going to be on some shit. And most likely of the fact that, that the Avengers, that's their greatest weapon. Like, this man Thanos packed the Hulk up so freaking bad. The nigga Hulk did not even want to show up for the rest of the movie, bro. I kid you not. Like, and the fact of the matter is, Donatus' goons came in, and most likely Hulk was trying to like get his get back on him. He was he was shitting bricks. Of the fact that he, my man Thanos, retired him so freaking bad and made him do yo yoga. Probably one of the most disrespectful moments in MCU history, hands down. But I know this is gonna be a really dope video. Blank boy, shout out to you. So enough with the chit chat. Let's get down to business. Appreciate all the love support you guys have shown to the channel. Make sure you run them like, subscribe, tap that bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Let's get it. Thanos had to make us pull up on the Avengers theatrical, so he gave the unincredible Hulk a beatdown and sent him down to Earth. Yep. He told Hulk, hey, let him know I'm coming. Make sure to polish those stones for me. Bruce had PTSD. Mid beatdown, yes. he saw Mufasa reaching out his hand. Like, yo, I kid you not, y'all. When I first watched this movie, the whole 10 minutes, this man, Thanos, did the Hulk so dirty. Like, and when the Hulk let uh bruce let uh all the avengers know about thanos they were not they were not joking they were taking it as a joke but boy oh boy did they learn the hard way thought it was over so bro got to snitching they didn't even have to offer him a big mac or nothing yep. Bruce wow. got to talking about a bunch of we's and us need to stop Thanos and Iron Man's not feeling it because nope. he just made promises to Pepper about how they're going to live a long, happy life together like from now that's on. Ever gonna I don't happen. know, Bruce. I promised Pepper some excitement in our relationship. Tony, yeah, right. if that hoe wants some excitement, she could take her ass to the movies. This is life <laughs> or death. Tony heard that this man Thanos is 6'7", 400 pounds, and it got him quaking in his boots. Can't believe it. Mm -hmm. And you sure he don't hoop? I, I told you. That beatdown had Bruce shit, shit and breaks, and after that, Bruce has never been the same since. I think I'm gonna be sick. I need a sandwich. I'm hungry too. Oh, really? really? <laughs> well, Tony, you the leader, right? How about you lead us to some food, nigga, and then we figure out how to beat Thanos. But all their deliberating gets interrupted, because when Thanos told Hulk to warn them about his pull-up, bro yep. met his pull-up in 15 he wasn't kidding. minutes, because his goons are already here. They slid on New York immediately, ready oh, to God, snag Doctor Strange's chain. We need that time stone. What happened to bro saying he would do it himself after Age of Ultron? Bro Facts. sent a duo to go take on the Avengers. He thought he had Prime Ninja and Myth on payroll. Oh, hear ye, hear ye. We are the Legion of Thanos deck riders. We have quite the cachet. Even Meek Mill heard dick riding and tried to join. This is Damn. fake. This is fake. It's a fake. Yeah, buddy. that's Photoshop. That's fake. On my mama, that's fake. On my heart, on my life, my little brother grave, I could die right now. That's fake. Oh, yeah? You need a clarinet, Squidward? Pack oh, this nigga got jokes, huh? But Ebony Maw was there to see the Unincredible Hulk beat down in space. Yep. So in the corner of his eye, he peeps Bruce and he's like, I know that ain't who I think it is. Go yep. after the short old one. He's straight food. I remember being in the theater hype as hell to see Hulk get his lick back, but little did I know, the writers went out their way to try to cook up. Yeah, like, the writers in this show, when, no, not in the show, in this movie, when the Hulk was thinking that he was going to, like, go all beast mode, yeah, the writers, they did him dirty, like, they thinking that, oh, he being, me and Biz is gonna be good. No, it wasn't. Like, this man Thanos really... Retired the Hulk so freaking bad, y'all. I kid you not. The lamest version possible. Facts. Hulk's they performance did. issues is not what I needed to see, bro. Papa fucking Hulk Agra and lock in. Squidward Facts. posted up on the other side hitting the TN, laughing at bro. Bruce is embarrassing the entire squad right now. Tony had to tell is. Banner to step aside so he could clean up his mess and recover the Avengers street cred. 
showing off that unreleased shit hasn't even hit the market yet nanotech armor squidward got to hating dudes out here with nanotech and he still hasn't found a hair growth formula that works yet sending Damn. color obsidian to get his head blocked left and get blasted by his lasers and the thing is ebony maul was standing right behind color obsidian but instead of catching him he uses the force to throw bro into a car that plus that's extra cold one two and that was his own teammate too like you're going to like move me to the side and get hit by a car man you you fake for that bruce is shocked keep in mind this is his first day back on earth since he dipped in age of ultron he left had a son who somehow has two hairlines came back Damn. and instantly is seeing this crazy shit yo tony put me on to one of those honestly bro if i had never whipped this out you wouldn't even have wanted it for real so Squidward interrupts Iron Man's gatekeeping with his earthbending, picking up two trees and force pushing them over, but Wong has got it covered. Doctor Strange looks behind him and he sees Hulk and Bruce putting up Patrick Beverly numbers. They average in 5 high fives, 3 butt slaps, and 10. You guys got this! Y'all are trash! So Doctor Strange subs this man out, almost crushing him in the process. While Bruce is catching that Krillin treatment, Squidward goes and throws a van at Wong and Doctor Strange. So as Doctor Strange is trying to defend himself, Iron Man's just like, If you don't get that bullshit out of my face, bitch! Fucking up the whole spell, pushing the car back as it gets sliced in half. We got a man- I ain't gonna lie, that, w that was tough of the fact the car- Uh, uh Iron Man- through the car and this man just did like this and the things the car split in half that's tough man of science and a man of magic mm. what'd y'all expect you think yeah. she's a go get along with king kong hell no you hating this vintage nigga i see the rust on you as strange had just dipped with the time stone like tony said a lot of this could have been avoided all he had yep. to do was go somewhere where no one would find him, like a Madam Web showing. Iron Man charges in, avoiding Squidward's attacks, but as he's closing in, Ebony Maw hits the Michael Jackson lean and Cole Obsidian hits him so hard he sent his ass into Central Park. This ass Damn. whooping got Tony reminiscing on his ex like a R&B song, he needs to make it right with Cap. <laughs> you okay? Sub me back in, big bro, I can hope, hope trust. You got, you got to be fucking kidding me, dog. You really think that you trying to get back, trying to like be up Mr. Big and Bad when the fact of the matter is you didn't do jack shit and you got your ass whipped by Thanos the beginning of the movie. Like, you think helping, taking on his goobs is going to be any different? Like, man, this new Hulk that they have now is complete garbage, if you ask me. We get fucking soul because your dumb ass act like you don't know what the fuck to fucking do. Like, damn, you get on this shit every day, pull the same shit. It's so fucking easy to play this fucking game, Toxic. You make this shit fucking hard. Bruce's scanner to get back into Avengers HQ, not, not finna be working next time he tries to use it. Color Obsidian no. bursts through the wall and he's trying to boost his KD, going after the free eats, but Iron Man is able to push him out the way last minute. While all this fighting is going on, Bruce and Hulk are having their own version of couples counseling. Bruce is trying to slap this man into acting right using those Chris Brown methods I see, but Hulk still ain't going for it. While Thanos was going around just bodying all types of different worlds, he must have came across Cybertron because Cole Obsidian's hammer is a Decepticon, transforming into a shield to block Iron Man's lasers. First Tony, now Cole Obsidian, dude saw Cap shield defy physics too many times and now they're starting to bite off it. Tony is spraying, but he gets hit, getting laid out, and as Cole Obsidian is about to GG him, he closes his eyes, accepting the fate that this is where the Legend of Tin Man is gonna end. But he gets saved. Tony didn't even see what happened, so he's looking like, Who the fuck is this nigga, bro? Damn, you ugly as shit. Hey, Mr. Stark. We learning about Harriet Tubman for the fifth time. I already know how she sat in the back of the bus. Blank boy. Blank boy. There's no need for this. J Stop going after people, man. They're, you're just dissing them for no reason. Cut it out. They over here conversating like they're not. 
You know there's 90% of y'all watching my videos and haven't hit subscribe? What's going on, man? Go ahead and leave that, hit that subscribe button, leave a like, and whatever comment that you have, it could be emoji, something funny, whatever it is, comment down below, subscribe, boost that YouTube out, Rigamuff, I appreciate all the love, enjoy the rest of the video, peace. Like they're not in the middle of a fight, so spy- And that's really stupid. Stupid too. Like you're in the middle of a fight, fighting one of Thanos' goons, and you're having a mid conversation with Iron Man. Man, lock the fuck in, please. Iron Man gets held like an NBA Finals trophy as Iron Man blasts him in the armpit and is able to duck out the we? way. Spider Man peeps Tony go in and he like, oh, we jumping? Flipping I'm with up. that. But none of Iron Man's teachings worked because, oh my God. Step back one. Nope, let me not. What kind of shot is that? Have you ever shot that shot? Do you work on that shot? When? Getting spun around and tossed away as Iron Man comes in, dodging a car being thrown at him. Oui. But that shit backfired because Spider-Man catches it, pulling it down, squishing him like a bug. The cameraman then pans back over to Thanos' number one fan, Ebony Maw. Has ever had the might, nay the nobility. I would make jokes, but that's messed up. He's clearly suffering is. from OCD, obsessive compulsive dick riding. We see him and he begins to levitate a bunch of Russell Westbrook's jump shots, sharpening oh them God. and firing them over as Doctor Strange opens up a portal. Him and Wong really go together like he be and Jelly, that Naruto and Sasuke chemistry as Wong fires them back oh and he yeah. tries to- That Naruto and Sasuke chemistry when they fought Momoshiki, if you know, you know. Use a card to defend himself, you know. This shit with windows all on it, getting beamed in the forehead, and now he's tight. So he gives Wong every when that when that one of them pebble rocks hit him in the side of his head. Yeah, you know he was gonna be on some straight demon timing. Every Super Smash Bros. Pro biggest fear: a shower blasting him away. Yep. Benedict Cumberbatch decides to get back in his 12 years of slave bag, pulling out a whip and grabbing Ebony Maw's torso, pulling him in, but ends up getting tackled into the wall. Squidward got Doctor Strange right where he wants him, and to keep him there, he uses his earth bending to trap him in a bunch of bricks. He's licking his lips now, so there's no way out of this one. All that's left to do is snatch that chain, which yep. he tries to do, but he gets his hand burnt. Doctor Strange used a spell on it called Magi Sir Naturel. Which I think roughly translates to broke niggas can't touch. Thanos. <laughs> hey, he ain't lying though. Said Call Obsidian suck dick better than you. Please just shut up. The idea of not being Thanos' favorite eater got Squidward so discombobulated he turns into a high school bully. Grabbing yep. this man by the collar got him bouncing off the concrete. Doctor Strange gets back up as quick as possible and he tries to use the time stone to revert back to right before he got this giant welt on his head from getting dropped. But Squidward stops this man right in his tracks, saw him throwing up the double peace sign and knew he was up to no good. So he starts to trap this man down again like a 40 year old IG model versus a young athlete, pulling the metal all around. I just seen that post the other, other day. I'm not gonna get any detail into it. Around his body and the neck, having him on the brink of death as he collapses. But you know how yep. it is. The riders stay doing Squidward dirty. Cheer up, Squid. It could be worse. Yeah, you could be bald and have a big nose. So on some loose. <laughs> Patrick, you're cold for that. He tunes as shit as he's being carried away. The cape just slips right out. Strange may have gotten away, but his windpipes are still being restricted. So the cameraman pans back over to Iron Man block on Cole Obsidian. Peeps Doctor Strange zooming through and tells Lil Bro Peter to get on that. Peter's still trying to make the Avengers tryouts, so he not gonna mess this up, surely. He starts chasing after Ebony did. Maw, who's chasing after Doctor Strange, and as he's narrowing in, it looks like he's just on the brink of catching them. Yes, sir, that's my He's an Ebony Maw is moving like Leonardo DiCaprio. He heard that Peter is under 25 and thought That's cold. It was free eats. Cause Spider-Man hits his clean ass recovery, going back and getting faced with this crazy obstacle course. We all play Spider-Man PS4 though. This shit easier than Mary Jane. But what it does do, it does work to catch Doctor Strange, who falls out and gets caught by Spider-Man who gets caught by a UFO. Doctor Strange's oh. body is being levitated up onto the ship to get his brains eaten by aliens. But Peter is trying his best to hold on and even tried hitting the Captain America shit. But you're, you're just guy. not that guy, Peter. You're not that guy. Squidward comes through to metal bend the pole out the ground to have 
Spider-Man and Doctor Strange go up into the ship. I know Ebony Maw celebrating like he just won Game 7. Thanos for sure gonna let him polish both heads He's after dead. doing this. Iron Man oh, weaves out the way, tries to fight back, but gets caught and slammed onto the ground. I thought you were bad! You ain't bad! You ain't nothing! Shit got Tin Man glitching. That damn Decepticon hammer must be his weakness and that's okay everybody just looking at that hammer in general it kind of looks like it sort of but he's got him superman's is kryptonite shacks is free throws and coil Ray's is music color obsidian runs over damn. to finish the job but wong blesses up sending him to an average winner in minnesota they was out here trolling too because they could have been closed the portal but instead they just out here laughing at bro and it's not until he goes to try to jump back and one that's stupid, you could have just closed the portal, easy peasy lemon squeezy, next thing you know, you clowning, laughing, thinking that he won't even escape out that bitch, bruh, through that Wong decides to close it, cutting off this man's whole hand, while all of this was going on, keep in mind, Spider-Man's halfway up to space by now, Tony yep. managed to bless him with some gear, know. but he's telling Will Bro to come back down, forget about Squidward before you fuck up the suit. It's expensive. He built that shit brick by brick. And I'll be damned if I let you tear it down just because you don't like the way another nigga talk. So Doctor Strange has the Time Stone and Vision has the Mind Stone, which they mm. also need. So since Wanda and Vision actually have some damn sense, they camped out in like Uzbekistan or some shit. But they try taking a stroll down the street like these is not the trenches, getting snuck by Corvus Glaive and tossed to the side. Getting stabbed into a new fit is crazy. That is OD crazy. The fact he got stabbed and turned into turned into his uh costume is insane. Crazy. Hey Wanda, hey, you know they got your mans, your mans, right? Mans. So she tried to get back. As she's loading up her attack, she gets blasted by Proxima Midnight into a building. And I can already tell, these two getting signed into Sneak Nation as we speak. This was 10 out of 10 work right here. Not a single ounce of fighting fair in sight. And not just that, but they show off the ancient... It, was, it wasn't even no 1v1s, no fate, no fate of it either. It was just straight jumping. That's all it was. Fight back nigga technique. Double team pinning this man to the ground, robbing him of his jewelry. This is marvelous work. They might just go straight for the presidential position at this point. Yeah, but Wanda right. peeps that vision is straight barbecue chicken right now. So she blasts the two of them away and decides to just skedaddle out of here with vision. But remember in Civil War how she accidentally killed all those innocent people while trying to move that bomb? Her yeah. eyes stay fucking up. Cause goddamn bitch, this ride bump. I remember that, how she killed those innocent people back at Civil War. Probably she didn't learn her lesson from that. Happy as hell, got my man Vision going through it right now. If I hear mm -hmm. the Avengers pulling up to save me and I see Wanda, I know I'm cooked. I might Facts. make it out of here, but it's gonna be without one of my legs or arms. Hell Vision no. already got brain damage now, but she manages to land him safely and reel him in towards her. The ops got my boy Vision looking like Android 16 right now. He finna start talking about birds and shit soon. Wanda yep. though manages to find a dark alley and starts healing him up, but Corvus Glaive can hear the sound of an android leaking from a mile away. So he oh, pulls boy. up grabbing Vision as they take off wrestling into two different buildings. Wanda swore to god that she was Katara, got to camping behind pillars, but Proxima Midnight is on that, hitting the pillar as Wanda gets in her Dang. big bag, weaving through the attacks and pushing her out the way. In the other 1v1, Corvus Glaive got Vision pressed up, telling him about how he finna turn him into a new laptop, and how Wanda's Damn. gonna get turned into minced meat once they're done with him. What? Vision heard his girl mention and his overall went up 10 points, landing on top of the roof. By the way, Vision is yet to land an actual hit. It's like he forgot he has the power of a whole infinity stone. Wanda and Proxima Midnight are down below going hit for hit until Wanda gets blasted away, able to soften her fall. Stupid. Wanda didn't even get the get chance the to catch her breath nope. because the second she rolls over, Pro the second she rolled over, oh my god, that's when everything was about to go left real quick. Proxima Midnight is ready to go for the kill shot. Vision yells over to Wanda, hey, don't worry, I'm winning over here. I'm coming to help soon. Lying! He's lying! He throws Bro against the wall, gut punch, chin check, and tosses him to the side like a Big Sean album. And I want y'all to come look at this. Vision's standing there like, I won't let him what get the away fuck are you doing? with this! Firing off the Mind Stone, which Corvus is able to block, got it dispersing in mad different directions. They almost clipped their own teammates down there boxing. And it's a good thing that they, that they didn't, because trust and believe me, if they did, 
all of them do have been put in the pack Mission continues to be so ass, bro. Getting his oh, own God. attack redirected. If I was Steve, later on in the movie, there would have been no deliberating on whether we'd taken the stone out of his head or not. Once I seen his stats, oh yeah, we could get Polka Dot Man to do this. Poor Wanda is fighting, but here's Vision up there getting worked. So she hits this clean ass limbo move, tossing Proxima Midnight into the fire, laying her ass out. So Damn. she flies up, and I want y'all to feast your eyes on this. Oh, this guy, Vision, oh, is getting sunned oh, again! I can't believe this time. is really the Tin Man that has Shorty in tears over having to kill him to save the world. Her and Ebony Maw clearly were dickmatized this whole movie. She they pulls work. up on the My Precious Dude all grown up now, blasting him through the window, knocking him out, grabbing Vision, and tries to dip out. But they did not get very far because this expensive ass backpack that is Vision is holding her back as Proxima Midnight blasts them out the sky. While they're barreling down to certain doom, I'm thinking damn. So after they scoop this stone off Vision's flattened sardine can body, how much more they need? But Vision is able to hug Wanda midair as she uses her powers to cushion the fall, but that shit still look like it hurt like crazy. Vision knows he's of no use really. to her, so he tells Wanda to dip, but she's refusing. She already lost her speedster brother who can't dodge bullets when my nigga Batman could do that shit. Which so even crazy. as Proxima Midnight and then Corvus Glaive jump through the roof giving her the death stare, ready to call game, Wanda stands 10 toes down, wasn't about to duck any smoke. This is really all just the first 20 minutes. I remember sitting in the theater like, this is gas. Proxima Midnight looks perplexed, which causes Wanda to turn her head, and once she gets a better look, she sees a man just standing there, menacingly. It's crazy because she don't even know who that is. That could be the train station custodian, but she just chucks her staff, which he catches, and it's my son, Steve Rogers. It's crazy how these two were fighting a literal android powered by an infinity stone with infinite power and a god dang witch, but the nigga with steroids pull up and now it's up for them. Cause Falcon out of nowhere Spartan kicked Shorty through a coffee shop. Damn. Now that she's out the picture, he goes up into the sky to start cheesing the height advantage, sending over four of his little drones as Corvus is able to block them. Cap hits the Tom Brady from across the map, tossing the staff to Black Widow who's running a clean route. Corvus is now in a 3v1, he finna go back to Thanos like, and they jump me nigga. As Black Widow clips his leg, <laughs> weaves, and stabs RBX. him right in the torso. And as if that wasn't bad enough, he goes to hit her back with his staff, but she flips, twisting it in even more, and double kicks him to the ground. Proxima watching this like, nah, that's foul. Y'all really gonna try and kill my boyfriend like that? Is this nigga serious? Calling back her staff and goes for the Yo! kill, but Steve saves Black Widow last minute. Thank you for saving my life. She, she want me, she want me. He's able to push the staff up and then push oh her to Black God. Widow, missing two slices on Natasha. Her mans is out of commission, so she's 100% trapped in this 2v1. As oh she God. turns and Cap blocks, then Natasha blocks, as Falcon kicks her ass to the ground to lay Damn. right beside her mans. The Avengers seen what type of demon timing these people are on, and how dangerous they are, but they can't help themselves, and still let them go up in their ship and dip out. Yep. And with that, they did, because they had, they had to retreat, because trust and believe me, if they didn't, they all would have been pack, packed up. No fifth fans of Butt's body. But, nah, man. This this whole movie was literally insane. Of the fact, had it not been for Steve Rogers and the other uh, Avengers helping Wanda and Vision, Wanda and Vision would have been packed up for sure. No question about it. But, nah, man. This was, was really really good overall blank boy shout out to you man it's up and stuck with you bro so comment down below let me know if you guys think of the video video because for me personally the event the avengers they really tried their best to the defender from thanos's goons i really do feel i do i sometimes do feel bad and sometimes i don't of what thanos did to the hulk of the fact of the matter is they pa this man packed them up so bad like the hulk has not been the same since but I appreciate the time. I love y'all so much for showing love and support the channel. If you're new to the channel, make sure you run them like, subscribe, tap that bell so you don't miss any of the videos that I post, all that good stuff. Roll to 1K, it's up and stuck. Appreciate y'all chilling with me. Catch y'all in the next video. Peace.